around them, I continued to be getting roles that were victims, um, prostitutes, drunken women, Aboriginal women, and all these were associated with negative stereotypes for women. I said, no, I can't do this anymore, and I went to my agent and she said, just be grateful you're getting work. I then decided to look back at some of the most positive experiences and those who were working with directors who believed in me. And I thought to myself, I can keep fighting for myself, or I can start working as a director and giving other people those opportunities. My first work in Australia was Louis Nara's Cosy. It's a quintessentially white Australian play. I didn't cast any white people. I casted Aboriginal, Finnish, East European, Indian, Pakistani, Asian actress. They are the people who make up Australia. They are the demographic of Melbourne's cultural capital. They are the people who deserve to be seen on stage. Of those ten people, nine of them went on to be in commercials, in TV, and in film. Nine of them came back to me and said I was the first director who gave them a chance to play a role that wasn't whatever their cultural background was. That's when I knew that this is the kind of work I wanted to do. I don't perform as much today. Occasionally I will dance if, if asked, sometimes traditional dance. Um, the last time I performed was at the Melbourne Cricket Ground as an Aboriginal dancer for a Dreamtime ceremony. Again, there are complexities over there because, as I said, I'm not Indigenous Australian. But when they need Indigenous Australians and they need dancers, guess what? Somehow those worlds collide. It's such an interesting learning experience and I'm continuously learning at every point. But what I keep seeing and what I feel empowered by is that when work such as Louis Nara's Cosy, which is about a group of mental patients and a young director who works with them, was taken into a school and a couple of women there were Muslim women and they looked at the show and they said, oh my god, we've never seen black women on stage. Oh my god, we've never seen a female director. Can we do that? And I said, yes, you can. Absolutely you can. This is your world, this is your country, this is your stage. And there is nobody stopping you from performing the way you want to perform. So everything that I write and everything that I work from comes from that space, comes from that space of being marginalized, being rejected, being dispossessed on multiple different levels, both as an artist and as an individual. But it is my choice, just as every single person is here, it's our choice to change that. It's our choice to say, we won't have that. And just because it might not have been my world and my dream at that time, I can see so many other people whose lives have been made a little bit different because they've realized they do have a space on that stage and they have gone on.